Hi, I'm Dr. Dodi Tyneway, your YouTube vet. I wanted to make this quick video for you so you can use the Black Friday sales to pick up some tools to make cooking your own pet food as easy, convenient, and affordable as possible. Here are the top five tools I would look for. Number five, an immersion blender. For those of you making cat food into a pate for your seniors and you wanna get more food liquids in them, it's an easy way to blenderize it right in there. You can also use it to make uh, pet food softer for pets with dental disease. I also like it to make soups for my family. Number four, a food dehydrator. You can dehydrate things like apple slices or even make your own bark for a special treat. Stay tuned to my channel for recipes for treats like this soon. Number three, a slow cooker. I recommend at least a six quart model because they're large enough to hold an entire batch of dog food. Number two, an air fryer. Don't laugh, we're not making fries for the dogs, but you can make the most delicious roasted chicken ever for your family and then use the bones and leftovers to make bone broth for pet food and soups for your family while you're at it. Number one, an instant pot. If you haven't already jumped on this trend, an instant pot's a really great tool to make food quickly. Most of them function as both a slow cooker and a pressure cooker. I find it especially useful for making bone broth, which takes just, gosh, a couple hours in, in the Instant Pot. And I also make dog food in it. So these are all products that are commonly on sale around this time. I hope you find some great deals so you can use them to nurture your pets and your family all year long. Also, we have a special for you. Put in the keyword thankful at checkout and you'll get 20% off your order. For more convenient cooking and pet care tips, make sure you follow the Holistic Vet channel on YouTube and Holistic Vet Blend on social media. Happy Thanksgiving and getting ready for the holidays. Here's the star of the show, Miss Star. She's gonna be 13, she's my senior. And also a uh, Hanukkah cat wanted to be here, but he was a little cranky this morning and did not want to be in costume. So anyway, wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving.